Hi everybody. So tonight I want to do a very, very quick um, video clip of the top 10 kitchen essentials that everybody needs to have in their households. Um, so I'm going to tell you what my top 10 favorite products are that we have at Pampered Chef and that I think you need in your kitchen. So really quick, I'm going to start to go through them and I'm going to start with number 10. And we're going to work our way backwards, and I bet you some of you could probably guess what some of my absolute positively favorite top 10 products are with Pamper Chat. So go ahead, post below um, what you think is going to make the top 10, and I'm going to be doing a raffle, and somebody at the end will win, and I'll post that after the fact, because I'm going to obviously have to write everybody's names on tickets and things like that, and then I will announce the winner. So we're going to start right now with, and this is probably going to be upside down, I'm terrible at this, I don't know if it's this way or this way for you to see, because what I see, what you see is different, so number 10 coming at you, well, hello everybody, I'm back, okay, so tonight, the very first thing, top 10 I think that everybody needs to have in their kitchen, I'm going back to old school right now, number 10 is, da 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 da, Stoneware. We have these beautiful pieces of stoneware. I bought stoneware back probably 12, 13 years ago from Grace Bott, who is now my director with the company. And when I first started, um, I didn't know much about stoneware. I bought it and I cooked chicken fingers and french fries on it, which pretty much is still what I cook on it today because of Brody. But stoneware um, is definitely one of my favorites. It will crisp things up and over time, you can see this beautiful new stoneware. It's our personal pan pizza stone. Over time, what happens is, is it seasons itself, and then it looks like a totally disgusting, dirty, gross, hot mess. Well, guess what? This is when it will cook the absolute best. The darker it gets, the better it cooks because the more seasoned it is. So it's kind of like as we get older, the more seasoned we are. So, stoneware, add it to your list of something you need to have in your household. If you do not like stoneware, I'm going to tell you why. You do not know how to use it properly. That's all there is to it. Stoneware will cook beautifully. You will bake cookies on it like never before. Brownies, everything will peel right up. Um, it will not burn and it will taste awesome. So if you do not like stoneware, you need to post below because I am going to teach you how to use stoneware the proper way. So stoneware, everybody needs that. We also have brand new current stoneware that has a glaze on it um, around some of the edges to fancy it up a little bit in your kitchens. So that is number 10. All right. So I'm going to put my stoneware away and I'm going to get ready for the next one. Okay, coming at you, number, number nine. How many of you people out there buy cheese that's already pre-shredded? I bet you a lot of you do. You all need to buy yourself one of our very own cheese graters. I'm going to tell you why. With our cheese grater, this is a coarse grater, we do have a fine one as well, flat, goes like this, fold it up, easy for storage purposes, or you can open it and it will lock and stay in place. In, on top of that, you are to be able to lock this on and add your cheese. Why? Here, write these down, here are your tips. Why do you need your own personal cheese grater? Number one. The fact that you are spending way more money when you buy pre-shredded cheese. You are paying for somebody to shred your cheese for you. You will get double the amount if you grate your own. So that's number one. Number two is the fact that you're, so you're going to get more. Number two is you're going to save money. Number three is the fact that it is better for you. It will melt better, so it's going to look better for you for all your recipes. And because of the fact it's actually healthier for you because they're not adding all the preservatives. Aside from this, I am all about getting our money's worth in all of our products. So if you're going to buy this to grate your cheese, you're going to also shred carrots. If you want to shred cucumbers for whatever reason, if you're making a Greek salad, um, potatoes for potato pancakes, this works awesome. So number nine, you need a cheese grater. If you do not own one, you got to get that on the list. What's awesome about this is the fact that when you put it in and you grate... You're not going to be skinning your knuckles and nicking yourself, um, causing you to have a bloody chaotic mess. So it's going to be neat, tidy, and easy for you to maneuver. It's also good for somebody that has arthritis. It's very easy for them to use as well. So that's number nine. You're going to have a test when this is all over, especially some of these ladies I see joining me now, especially that Katie Orlick. You're a baker and a cook. I'm going to quiz you. Okay, here we go. Number eight. Number eight. Da, 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 da. Here it comes, right? 
So to go along with the idea of grading things, um, I am a huge fan of our brand new Quick Slice. This came out last season. It is a phenomenal gadget. If you make pasta salad, this will become your best friend. It has a V-shaped blade on it, which I know is very hard to see. I call it stadium seating because when you maneuver this item and you rock it, everybody with me, everybody at home, this is what you should be doing. You should be rocking it. So when you rock your tool down and slice, when you pick it back up, all of your goodies are going to stay on top so you can flip it into your bowl. Or what I like to do if I want it diced instead of slice, pick it back up, put it back on my um, little shield here, turn it the other way, and rock it again, and I'm going to have it diced. So this will do cucumbers, zucchinis, tomatoes, mozzarella cheese for your caprese salads. Um, you could do pound cake, you could do mushrooms, you could do olives, you could do strawberries, you name it, you could do it. If you have a child that likes their hot dog cut and you are a lazy mama and you don't feel like slicing it, guess what girls, all you need to do is whoop, hot dog slice, ready to rock and roll. Small onions work great depending on the firmness of your tomatoes, bananas if you wanted to do bananas. Great gadget for slicing and dicing, so much fun. Hold backward as nine is viewed to us backwards. I am horrible, Holly. I don't know which way. Eight, eight, eight. Listen to what I'm saying, because obviously I stink at making sure you could tell what number I'm on. So pay attention. Otherwise, you know out there, you know exactly what it is. You're just pretending like it's upside down for me, making me go crazy. No, I'm just kidding. But anyways, you know what number I'm on. So right now, this is number eight. You need the quick slice in your kitchen. It will make your life a million times easier, faster, and you're not going to have to worry about spending all that time cleaning up and getting knives out and everything else. You're going to use one gadget. And best part is stick it on top of your dishwasher on the top rack. Dishwasher save. Oh, heaven. Love it. Okay, number eight. Moving right along because I know you're busy and I'm busy too. So we're going to keep moving. Number seven tonight. Dun, 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 dun. Holy, it's seven. It's seven. I wrote it the wrong way. I should have wrote it backwards. Ha, 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 today. You, that's okay. No big deal. Okay. Number seven. How many of you whip off chicken at home, and when you're whipping off your chicken, you cannot stand the touch, the gook, and the slime, and it's all over the place, and it's a hot mess, and you're trying to fillet it, and then you slice your finger. Now your finger's filleted, and you're getting stitches. Woo! We don't want that, okay? So here's what you need to do. This little handy gadget is called our closing cut. You may be familiar with this because it is used four bagels, slice them and dice them and ready to rock and roll, has a spring in it. Great, great gadget for bagels. I don't buy bagels to eat at home. So now, what in the world am I gonna use this tool for? Well, if I wanted to slice my tomatoes, a ton of them all at once, I wanted to slice grapes, a bunch of them at once, or olives, very simply, add them on, close it up, I pull out my knife, da 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 da, -da. And, of course, you're not going to slice yourself up in the air like I'm doing right now. You're going to put it on the table. But, again, I'm going to let everybody know, do not try this at home without knowing how to use the product. Okay? That's why you invite me to your house. So I teach you the right way. Am I making you nervous? <sighs> okay. So, anyways, this looks like a whole horror film right now. Somebody just joined us, doesn't it? So what you're going to do, put on your... Oops, hold on. Something's popping up on my phone. You're going to take whatever it is, slice right through it. Boom, you're ready to roll. My personal favorite is I use this for filleting chicken. Oh, yes. Take your chicken skin off that fat because I am not a fatty girl on that end. Put your chicken breast on. It's going to have this spring on it. It will be able, you'll be able to push down and clamp it. Hold on to the grippers up top. And then, let me see if I can actually put this down so you can see. Doo -doo -doo. Take this. You're going to push. You're going to put your knife in. And then you're going to go this way. When you're done, you will have a beautifully filleted chicken breast. If it's not to your liking of thinness, stick it back on, slice it again. It will fillet your chicken. You will never, ever, ever, ever again not go without this tool if you own this. So again, this is our closing cut tool. Add it to your Christmas list. I'm going to tell you now, ladies, your husbands need to buy you something. These are your tools in your kitchen. Okay, men, if you're out there, you can tell your wives if you're the cook. You, your spouse needs to know that you need these products because these are your tools. It's no different than going to Home Depot, no different than going to Lowe's. Only difference is you go to those places, you probably buy those products and you barely use those tools once in a blue moon. These will be kitchen products that you will use every single day. These are going to be life necessities and they are tools for you to have. And they all come with some type of guarantee, which is really awesome too. 
Okay, moving on. Here we go. So that was our closing cut. Holly, this is for you. Everybody that just joined us, you're going to have to figure out if it's six or nine. Because Vanessa can never, ever figure out which way we're supposed to be going. But I'm on number six. Okay? So, number six was a toss-up. I had to tie it because I just couldn't decide. I probably should have put my top 11 products, but I didn't. I put 10, so we're going to merge this. Number, ten, or number six, oh, number six is our knives. Okay? Forge cutlery is the way to go. We have a beautiful block set of knives. Our knives do not just stop right here, that they're going to chip and break and get flimsy. They're going to go all the way down to the bottom. With these knives, they come with a lifetime guarantee with it. You want to make sure you have yourself a good cutting board because when you cut on this, it will dull your knife if you're not cutting properly on a good cutting board on a good sturdy piece. Um, we have a variety of different forge cutlery knives. Um, but they are phenomenal to have in your kitchen and everybody needs a nice set of knives. So that is number six and it's time because I am a big garlic cooker. John will tell you, but it doesn't make him stay away from me. I like garlic, okay? This is our garlic press. Love it. You need to absolutely positively have a garlic press in your home. Well, why? Um, because garlic that you buy in a jar, it's disgusting, okay? So if you're buying that, and you're using it, it's probably because, that's probably why your recipes do not taste like they do if you have somebody else cook it in a professional setting. If you wanna look like a professional cook and your meals to taste phenomenal, you need yourself a garlic press. Fresh garlic, put your clove in it. You do not need to peel it. This is saving you time. All my people out there that hate to cook. It's okay, you don't have to like to cook to use a garlic press. But it will add flavor and it will make your meals taste so much better. So like I said, Put your garlic clove in, take this, push down, you're going to have the garlic spewing out, use it, scrape it off, add it to your recipe, bing, bada, boom, bum, done. Then you open it up, your skin will be inside, peel it out, we're all finished. Easy can be easy, right? I also, if I want to try to look a little fancy, add some chocolate chips to this, crush them down, sprinkle them on top of something, and you're looking super fancy. I always find different ways to use our tools because I don't want you to buy something that you only use one way. We're always looking for that versatility, okay? Next up, da, 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 da. are you ready? Here we go, number five, because I gotta keep moving because I have something to do. Number five, do, 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 number five, here we go. Can opener, oh my gosh, can opener. I do not own an electric can opener anymore, I do not want to. This is the easiest, could be easiest one you will ever imagine to use. Typically you think of using it sideways, do, 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 do. that's not how we use ours. Let me get a can. Okay, so now I have a can. Stick it on. You're going to put it this way. Now, you probably thought I was going to open it for you. Ah, 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 ah. You have to invite me to your house for that to happen. That's a big deal. I am not wasting my beans right now because I like beans. But what you're going to do, stick it this way. When you actually put your, this is actually like a magnetic clip here. When you put this here, you're going to start to take it, turn it to the right. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey, if you think of it that way. When you start to turn it to the right, it will latch onto your can. You will go all the way around it. As soon as you get all the way around it, you're going to feel it get a little bit looser. When it gets looser, you're gonna now turn it to the, do I hear you out there? What way are we gonna turn it? That's right, you got it, to the left. Turn it to the left. Then I have my little friend, my Pac-Man mouth. That's what I call him. Mr. Pac-Man will clip onto the top of the lid. He will pull off. You're holding this gadget in on the side. See that? That's what you're making. Look at Pac-Man mouth moving. Pull it up, boom, done. Now, guess what? Your, um, your lid is going to have a smooth edge all the way around it, so it's okay if kids are helping you in the kitchen. Very simple. If you know somebody that has arthritis, this is an ideal um, can opener for them. It's very easy to maneuver. It is not like a struggle, things like that. It is definitely my favorite gadget to watch everybody use at shows because nobody can figure it out. It's very few people. So if you were one of my people at my shows and you figure it out, kudos to you because you know, most people look at me and go, I don't know what to do. It's really simple. Once you own it, you get really used to it. But I will make sure you properly know how to properly um, use this, okay? Mark Constantino, I'll give you a shout out. Oh, it's coming, I'm on number four. See, Mark, you know where I'm going. Okay, so now, dun, 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 we're on to number four. So my top, we're doing the top 10 of Vanessa's favorites that every single kitchen needs. So now, we are on number four. Don't you love my fancy signs I used with marker five minutes before my video? Okay, the creative teacher in me didn't come out tonight. I'm just being real, okay? Number four. 
Here we go. Okay. This may not be something in everybody's kitchen, but it's in mine. And I like it. And my husband will tell you I like it. And so are all my girlfriends. Our electric wine opener that is brand new for our winter line. Get it before it's gone. It's only guaranteed till December 31st in our flyer. Oh my gosh, if you don't buy it now, what happens if you can't get it after that? Oh, you could buy from another company? But you won't have me as your personal customer service rep. So you want to grab it, okay? I love this, okay? Check this out. In our electric wine opener, it comes with a beautiful little stand. Oh, look at how sweet it sits in it. Oh, so nice, right? Okay, so let's, let's get down to the nitty gritty here. The bottom of it is your seal opener. Twist that cap off. You're able to get that seal off on the cap. Once you have it off, you will push your bottom button and you will place this on top of your cork. It will unscrew, it will screw down into the cork, unscrew your cork, and when you are finished, you are going to now hit the top button and kick it back off. If you want this for free, you could get it for free in November if you have a show with me. But you know what? My dates are really full. I'm not sure if I have room for you. So you are really going to have to beg me so I can see if I can squeeze you anywhere in my calendar um, and it may actually even work for you to bring your guests to me and I can just do one day and invite a ton of you if you wanted to do this and get this for free we could even do a one day event where I have six hosts and it could be like an open house type of deal where we do a Christmas shopping thing and you invite all your girls over they come shop they tell me which host and you can earn it for free so if you want more information on this private message me you'll get you can get this for free in November Otherwise, it's $50, um, and like I said, if you do not grab it, it might be gone. You're going to be, you're going to regret it. It's one of those things where you better buy it because if you don't buy it, then you're going to think about it, and then you're going to think about the fact that you should have bought it, and before you know it, you're kicking yourself in the butt because you didn't buy it, and now you're out of luck, okay? How's that? All right. Ooh, Kim, do you? I know I love this wine opener, too. I'm a little bit addicted. I even... Um, when I'm doing this, I even, um, what was I going to say? I don't even know where that goes. Oh, I know where I'm going. I make cakes with this too. You could actually make wine cakes. So it's a lot of fun. So again, wine opener, and then it comes with a cord. So that way you may charge your, um, wine opener. Isn't that so much fun? And it's Pampered Chef's first electric product. And if you know anything about us, you know that our products retire. So once you get it, it could be gone forever if you do not. Just saying. Okay, moving on. I, uh, moving on. I went on a tangent there. We got to keep going. Okay, number three. It's up for you to listen to me. Okay, number three. Next item, number three, manual food processor. If you do not like to chop onions, this is definitely... Yes, I have a bra on, Lindsay. <gasps> Shame on you. Shame on you. Anyways, number three is my manual food processor. This is not electric and it does not come with batteries. The first time I got this question was this week and they said, is it battery operated? And I said, no, it's operated by you. So how fast you go could determine the mood you're in. So if you are cooking in the kitchen and your spouse comes home and you're kind of la 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 lollygagging, they might figure you're in a pretty good mood, you know? But if they come home and they hear this in your kitchen, they are going to stay far away from you because guess what? You are not in a good mood, okay? Faster you go, the finer it's going to chop. With this, I love it. It comes with a removable blade, storage lid so that way you could store your salsas. You could do, if you're chopping pretzels for a dessert, graham crackers. If you want to do onions because you just hate to touch them and you want to just scoop them out then when you're done, do that. Peppers. I do all different types of sauces. I do bruschetta in this. Um, of course, I'm on the top of my head. I'm trying to think of everything I do with this, but I use it constantly. Guacamole. If you want to make guacamole with this, you could use that also. Love my manual food processor. I own. That's why I need a bigger house. I keep telling John. He's finally on board with me, and but he doesn't think I need a bigger house for Pampered Chef. Boy, is he wrong. Okay, so four... Number, so four of these I own, and this is my number three top items that you need in your kitchen. So if you don't have it, you know what you need to do? Book a show, or you could order it for the holidays, or you could give your spouse my phone number, or my email, or my website, and they can order it for you. Wouldn't that be nice? And you know what? I even will throw in a special bonus for all of you out there that are my regulars. I will even wrap it for you, just because I love all of you out there. Okay? All right, here we go. Moving on. We're getting down to the top two. I know. Are you excited? I know I am. 
<laughs> number two. Okay, number two is going to take me just a few seconds to prep because I have a lot of it. You're probably thinking, what is she talking about? Do, 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 do. Don't mind me, I'm just gathering some items. I want to make this fast because I know that you need to all go to bed. Okay, so right now, if you are an entertaining type of person, like I love people, I love to be around people, I love company, except for like once in a while when I'm in a bad mood. But for the most part, I really enjoy being around people. Hence, that's why I saw Pamper Chef. I'm a teacher. I do all these other things. I enjoy being around people. I like to socialize. If you didn't figure that out already, I like to talk. Um, so if you are an entertaining type of person, then these are the items for you. And I'm going to actually show you a quick, um, just scan some of the items real fast. Okay? These are some of our entertaining stoneware pieces. I am in love with them. I love that they match everybody's kitchens. I love that some of it's stoneware and some of it's stoneware that's glazed that goes in my dishwasher, okay? We have rectangular bakers. Look at how nice they are. They will match every single kitchen. No matter what meal it is that you're making, you're going to look like you have it all together there. Um, you know, and the holidays are coming, and we have sets of these right now. So, we have Thanksgiving coming, we have Christmas coming, you have New Year's, which I'm sure a lot of you eat pork and sauerkraut. You entertain people, so these are the items that you're going to need in order to make your kitchen look nice. Um, and just because of the fact that they're great products and they're going to last you a long time. This comes in a baker set that actually has, has um, two smaller bakers with it as well, but I'm just going to show you the one. So, isn't the color so nice? That is one. Then we have our brand new restyled, redesigned lid on our deep covered baker. Some of you may have a knobby one. This one has the handle. And I just love this. This is great. Um, if you don't own a rock crock um, or you can't afford a rock crock, maybe it's a little bit out of your budget right now. This is a great alternative up to 400 degree heat. Not quite as good as my rock crock. And anybody that knows me knows how I feel about them. Um, but it definitely is a great alternative. It's great to do chickens and cakes and things like that. Deep covered baker. Next, if you know somebody getting married, look at these beautiful bowls we have now. You can heat them up in your microwave, your toaster oven, and even in your actual oven. Um, they come in the two different color tones. You can mix and match. You can buy sets of these. Great gifts for somebody for the holiday season. Great for you to purchase to put all your veggies on as you um, basically entertain your family members. And it's also awesome um, for anybody that's getting married. It's a beautiful set for them to have. So check out those beautiful colors. We also now have this gorgeous bowl. It's a, a deeper type of bowl, really large, great for serving those mashed potatoes or um, your stuffing on Thanksgiving Day. It's great for storing things, so if you're somebody that just wants to have it more decorative throughout the year, you can add your chip bags, things like that to it. Um, really, really nice piece. Plus, you can put this right inside of your oven, and it goes from your oven right to your table. So when you're entertaining, you can put a hot pad down or a trivet, and it's a beautiful um, a piece. That way it looks really nice when you're serving dinner. On top of that, we also have our brand new entertaining trays. I have some uh, wine markers, so I wrote on mine a little bit. But don't worry, it washes right off. So, so when you buy yours, they don't come with the writing on it. But you can write on them if you want to with our wine markers. Otherwise, they're just going to come plain. But you're going to see that right now they have, we have two entertaining patterns. Check out this one. Can you read what it says? Join my team. We are a fun bunch on the boil team. Just saying. So these are our beautiful new entertaining platters. You'll see that they come in a set of two. You can buy them individually, but um, they're beautiful. They're small, large size, great for entertaining. And last, but certainly not least, in my entertaining set that I want to show you tonight is, okay, are you ready for this? Who are my pie bakers out there? If you bake pies, I am thinking about doing a pie baking class at my house in November. So if you are interested, make sure you comment. I'm interested in the pie baking so I know because I want to at least have like a good amount of people to do this. Um, I might run two sessions of it. But I at least want to have enough people that are interested other than doing it for one or two people. No offense. But I want to make sure it's worthwhile. We have our brand new deep dish. It's a deep dish pie plate. Apple pie, blueberry crumbs, um, pumpkin pie. You name it, you can do it. Beautiful, beautiful pie plate. Ours was retired. The cranberry one's retired. It is now back in this beautiful tone. Um, and don't act like out there like you're pretending like you don't bake pies. You know a lot of you bake pies. Or you could set it in somebody my way that does. So again, these are our entertaining items. Great for the holiday season coming up. Okay? And 
Da 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 I'm down to number one. I'm so excited. Number one. You know what I'm going to say. Mark Constantino knew what I was going to say. I know my husband would know what I was going to say. Number one. Peach cobbler. Yes, Audra. That would be great for a peach cobbler, too. You got it, girlfriend. So, my number one item. If you do not own this, don't talk to me ever again. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You have to talk to me because you need one. Okay? Like, you really, really, really need one. So, anybody else that's on that has this item, I want you to comment all the reasons why on my page today why they must own this. And I'm not saying it because I sell it. It's a little perk. But the whole point is, is this is going to make your life a million times easier. It's going to save you time in your kitchen. It's going to allow you more time with your family. It is going to be a major lifesaver to get everything done from breakfast, lunch, dinner, appetizers to desserts. It's awesome. Here you go. You ready? Oh, you saw it, didn't you? My rock rock. Now I see my brother-in-law, George Boyle, just added himself. He just purchased the wine openers, just so everybody knows. But he does not own a rock rock. So I'm totally calling him out on this because he totally needs one. He likes to bake soups. And I have a new one for you, Georgie Boyle. Because, and you can't see it, but on the top of my cabinets is my Mac Daddy Grandpa of them all. Do you see that up there? Can you see this? I don't know if you can see that one. That is my extra large Dutch oven rock clock, rock, yeah, rock clock, rock crock, okay? Totally, totally, totally worth the investment, people. You are going to get everything done. 15 minutes, you can have pasta baked in your microwaves. Chicken done. Completely finished with under 20 minutes. An entire chicken you could stick in here for 30 minutes, and in the end of 30 minutes, throw, pull your chicken out. You have juices, add your stove top stuffing. 32 minutes, and you have a chicken and your stuffing ready to go for your family. Phenomenal thing. 10 minutes, you have a cake done. This is the Dutch oven. If, Like I said, if you don't own these, you could book a show to get yourself discounts um, to get it either at half off. Sometimes we have promotions coming up with 60% off an item, so you can walk away with a discount. It comes in four sizes right now. Pork tenderloin I do. Yep, thank you, Lori. I do everything and anything in this. John will tell you, I come home now, and my husband is cooking in the rock crock. He's like, I have dinner cooking in the rock crock, Vanessa. The only problem is, is John hasn't figured out the whole uh, don't use 90 million utensils yet. We're working on it. But he uses the rock rock all the time, and he loves it. He'll tell you. And that's a man using it. Um, and he likes to cook, so I shouldn't say that. He is a man that likes to cook. But it's not like he always felt like he had to, because I cook all the time, too. So we kind of have a balance in our lives now. And it's really easy, because whether you are a cooker or a non-cook, this is for you for your kitchen. So again, goes up to 752 degrees heat. So it goes outside on your grill. It goes under your broiler. It goes in your oven, on your stovetop, in your microwave. You be creative. You cook what you want to. And it comes with a cookbook just from me. So it's an extra perk. Now, if you like these, but you're thinking to my, yourself, oh man, I don't need a flat one. Don't worry. You want those grilled nachos, things like that, grilled pizzas, and you want to do it outside on your grill? Here is our rock crock stove. So there you go. You're able to use it on everything and anything. Now, I am done here for tonight. You saw my top 10 products. Now, what do you need to do? Well, first of all, you need to get them in your kitchen because I'm telling you this is what you need. Whether you're a cook or you're not a cook, it's going to make your life easier. You're going to save yourself money because you're going to be able to do a lot of things yourself instead of paying somebody else to do it at a grocery store and buying it already done for you. So... Stay tuned. Over Christmas break, I will be doing, and possibly Thanksgiving, I will be doing some cooking classes again. So if you are interested in cooking classes, pie baking classes, please post below. Also, if you wanted to grab, jump in on any of the specials coming up in November and December to get some discounts or to get any of these fabulous products discounted, I will try my best to sneak you into my calendar. I can't promise. I am really booked. Uh, but like I said, I may be able to do a one-day thing and have a bunch of hostesses all in one day. So post below. Otherwise... I am out of here this evening. Thank you for listening to my crazy antics this evening. And you can feel free to share this. And I will probably be uploading it onto YouTube so that other people can check it out. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you soon.